What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Precious Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Lead the rest. Free general collective reading. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,050 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. Just saying, just saying, saying. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Get out and get some exercise or get out and um, enjoy the wonderful sunshine if you have it. I know it's beautiful here where I'm at. So I walked three miles today. Just to let everybody know. Three miles. I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start. Just to let y'all know real quick before we get into the reading. I think I'm going to start my uh, hashtag weight loss boss, the weekly support group meetings that I plan on doing. I think I'm going to start that next week. It's just going to be like a weigh in. And if y'all want to share anything, any healthy recipes, I'll share recipes um, and tips and tricks and how much you exercise and blase it for the week and blase, blase, blase to keep everybody, you know, motivated. I think I'm going to start next week. But I walked three miles today, so hopefully everybody gets some exercise, okay? I've been doing it at a park, and um, it's really beautiful up there. They have a walking path, and when we moved out here, me and the kids moved out here five years ago, that's one of the reasons that I moved out here, was that walking path and the park. And so I've really been utilizing it. Um, there's a, a lot of people that utilize it up there, and um, so just saying, just saying. Okay. Well, we're going to get started. Okay, so this is a karmic read. I just want to say it's a karmic read uh, for the channel. I was in there watching videos, man. Then I get channeling. So I'm here. So it is what it is. Um, and I already have a, like, from the channeling, I already have a song that I'm gonna, I think I'm going to post in the link below um, that I feel goes with it. Now, the song is... From, it's not in our language, just to let you know. My ex-husband actually introduced me to this band about um, 20 years ago or so. Um, just to let y'all know. And it is heavy. It's heavy. So if you don't want to listen to it, don't click on the link below. But I do, I feel it goes with this reading. Um, just saying, just saying, just saying. And the video does too, so. Okay. I heard, um, okay, so the channeling I received was, um, sorry, was, um, a karmic is about to cut off their third party soon. I heard, um, uh, I heard they are, uh, about to find out they have acquired HIV from them. That's what I heard. That is so fucking strong, man. It's strong. So, um, and I heard a karmic. A karmic is about to cut off their third party. So, I mean, well, if you got a third party, that I mean, that's karmic energy all day long. You're not in, you don't have, in a twin flame connection, you don't have a third party. Uh, because, and I'm just being for real, if it's a true twin flame man, you should not want third parties. You shouldn't want third parties. You shouldn't want anybody but your twin. If it's a true twin flame. Now, there are things called false twin flames, people trying to convince people they are their twins. Uh, but in true twin flame dynamics, there should not be anybody else, period, point blank. There shouldn't be because you shouldn't want anybody else. And that's the truth because your souls, your, your energy and your souls draw you to the other person, only the other person. You want to grow and care and hone that relationship and only that relationship, period, point blank. Um, so... There is you. There is no twin flame dynamics in third party situationships, sneaky links, blase, 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 because that's not a, a true healthy connection. If you weren't happy, get the hell out of it and go be by yourself, single, or manifest in your twin if that's what you desire. But you wouldn't, if you truly cared about your twin, you wouldn't put them in a third party, a sneaky link, or a situationship. I just want to make that clear. Because that's the truth. If you truly care. There are people out there that try to convince people they're, they're, they're twins. And put them in these weird third party situations. Uh, sneaky link shit. That's not true twin flame either. Either that's manipulation. 
for anybody that doesn't know that. Um, and I, I'm just being for real. But whoever this is, it's a karmic. And they're in a third-party relationship, I heard. So they are karmic. I think they knew it when they got into this third-party situation. It, I'm not saying it's you. It could be, you know, there's 13,050 people on here. So it doesn't have to be you if this resonates. You know, it could be somebody you're connected to. It be a karmic you're connected to, and you're about to hear that they're about to break it off with their third party, and they've got HIV if they choose to share that information. I mean, most people don't like to share that kind of information because it's scary to people. Um and that's protected health information that they don't have to share because they don't have to. But um, but if they do have sexual relations with other people, it's important that they share that. Um, because they can con um, give it to somebody else, contract it to somebody else. And that's just the truth. So, um, I mean, people can get in lawsuits for that, for having sex with people. Knowing they have HIV and not, not safe. Because it, it affects the health of other people. True story. Uh, I'm serious. So, anyways, I heard it's a karmic, so it don't have to be you. It could be a karmic you're connected to. Only you know if you're a karmic, not anybody else. Just saying, just saying. Um, but a karmic is about to find that's in a third party is about to break off the third party. So it could be you or somebody you're connected to, and the karmic is about to find out they have HIV. I'm pulling this karmic in very, very, very strong. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is what I just heard. So I think this karmic is air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're semi rising, Venus, North, and Midham, and Jupiter, Charts. However, that resonates, man. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Um, the name of the song I'm going to put in the description box below. It's the the band is called Ramstein. Ramstein, Ramstein, something like that. But then uh title of the song is Ramstein Lust. So I thought of this, um, I thought of this um song to go with it because the song is Ramstein Lust. It's all about sex. It's all about lust, it's all about sex. Sex, 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 sex wand energy. Lust, 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 lust. No carry, no affection. Sex, 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 sex. So I'm going to pin the description box below, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. Let me pull some cards. I think I'm going to pull an animal spirit, too. I feel guided to pull one. Experiment. I heard, the, um, I heard this air sign's about to find out they have HIV soon. I mean, this is serious. Occupation, upright, distant horizons, reverse. Maybe for some these air, of these air signs, I'm feeling um, maybe the HIV has something to do with their occupation. Um, maybe they're a porn star. Maybe for some, they're porn stars or want to be porn stars. I've been pulling in this Libra with a viral sex video. Um, very heavy in my readings recently. So it might be that because I heard it's an air sign or it might be something else. But I'm feeling for some of these air signs, they could be porn stars or prospective porn stars or swingers or polygamy, polygamous people that just love to swing and sex it up with their whole community or what have you, what have you. Because uh, we have the Occupation Upright card with the Distant Horizons reversed. Um, I think they're about to find out soon if they have HIV. And it's um, something, I think this occupation has something to do with sex. I think they work in a sex, I think they're a sex worker. Um, they're either a pimp or a prostitute or a, a swinger, which swingers, they don't get paid, I wouldn't think, unless they make swinger videos. Or, um, and they, you know, they put them on like Pornhub or something like that. Or, um... Or something of that nature. However that resonates.
This person's lust is about to backfire on them in huge ways. Huge ways. They're trying to get out of it now, but it's about to seriously affect their health in huge negative ways. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on this person in huge ways. They're trying to get out of it now, but it's about to affect their health in huge negative ways. So it's about to, I think it's about to affect their health quickly. I heard HIV. They're about to find out they have HIV. Um, anybody doesn't know, HIV turns into AIDS. It's very, very, very serious. Very serious. Whoever this air sign is, I heard air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. So it's about to happen quick, man. Uh, number 36 or 34 could be very significant numbers. Maybe it's the age of this air sign or age of you or somebody you're connected to, 36 or 34, uh, or any other significant number in one's life. I heard they're trying to get out of it now, so they're trying to cut off this third party now. Um, maybe the third party has HIV, and that's how they contracted it is what I'm feeling, because I heard they're about to find out they have HIV. But we have the occupation card. So I think um, I think it's something to do... Um, with sex. It's something to do with sex. How would that resonate? This person is a sex addict. This person is a sex addict is what I just heard. They're a sex addict. Okay, they're a sex addict. Their occupation is a sex addict or their hobby is a sex addict. But we have the occupation upright card. That The occupation in this aspect is they love to have fucking have sex. Whether they get paid for it or not. And I'm just being for real, whether they're a sex worker or not, they love sex, uh, but it's about to catch up with them. I mean, they have a third party for some, they could be married that, or they could be in healthy relationships, but this ain't no healthy relationship. You got a fucking third party and that's just the truth. I don't care if you're legally married or not. Um, and I heard they're a karmic. So they're a karmic to whoever they're in the relationship with and their third party. And they're about to find out they have fucking uh, HIV and they're a sex addict. Um, yeah, no, nay, nay. Um, the occupation in this aspect is they love, they, they love to open their legs or splay their penis everywhere. How that resonates? And it's about to happen quick. I think the fact they're about to find out they have HIV. I think something, I heard it's about to affect their health very negatively. Very negatively. So, um, 35 and up. 35 and up is what I just heard. 35 and up. So, they're 35 or older. Air sign. Sex addict. Um, and I, like I said, I feel some they're prostitutes or they're sex workers or which, I, I mean, prostitute is a sex worker. But, um, you know, like, for example, if you worked at the Bunny Ranch, that's not illegal, like here in Nevada. But everywhere else, in my knowledge, it's illegal, except for the freaking Bunny Ranch in Nevada. And that's just the truth. Um, I mean, unless there are other places where it's legal, please let me know if it is. But, um, but where I'm at in the state of Alabama, it's illegal to be selling your body for some money. Just saying, just saying. Um, but they're a sex addict where they get paid for it or not. And they're about to find out they have HIV. I'll tell you that for sure, for sure. All right, let's pull the animal spirit, man. I'll post a song in the link below. Spare messages you have with this. Hawk. I feel guided to get one more. Spare messages you have with like this. Okay, I'm fine. All right, so I heard it was an air sign. We have double air sign energy here. That's double confirmation of this person is the air sign. Uh, maybe for some, their partner could be an air sign or um, possibly, but we have double deuces air sign energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I heard in here earlier, there are air signs. Um, 35 and above air sign. So older air sign energy. Hawk. Their health is about to decline drastically, soon and drastically.
Their health is about to start declining soon and drastically is what I heard. Wow, man, that's double confirmation in here. Their health is about to start declining soon and drastically. So, I mean, quickly. Uh, we have that message with the distant horizons reversed. I mean, it's about to happen quickly, quickly. Oh, Lord. So, um, in this aspect, I feel the hawk energy is, um, you know, hawks, when they, um, in the wild, when they um, get their prey, they circle around it. They case their prey aerially. They case their prey in the air, figure out what the hell they want to do, and then they swoop down real quick and go get it. Um, I feel th this is like going to be the HIV. They're, I heard they're about to find out they have it. So I think they already have it. Uh, or they're about to have sex with somebody that has it and they contract it. How that resonates. But however that resonates, it's going to happen soon and quickly. Like, I feel they might, some of these people, they might have decreased immune systems already. So their body is already lower defense against um, infectious types of things. And so when they contract the HIV, it's just going to spread real quickly because their body already has a lower defense against it, possibly. Um, but however that resonates, um, I feel this is the HIV about to swoop in quickly on the body and just take over soon with distant horizons reverse. I feel this is the HIV taking on the hawk energy in this person's body soon. And I am serious. I'm serious. Oh, my Lord. Dragonfly. Once this person finds out they have it, it's going to get leaked to someone they thought they could trust. But this person is going to betray them in a huge way, and they're going to spread it around to everybody. Everybody they know, and then it's going to get around like wildfire. It's going to mortify this person. Mortify them. Because they're going to know with nonverbal cues that people know. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. Um, wow. So, okay. So this person's about to be in for some very heavy negative karma. I'll tell you that. And I'm just being straight up. They, I mean, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, if You're really not. Of course, people break rules and policies and procedures all damn time. Trust me. It's sad, but it's true. But you're not supposed to go around. If somebody confides in you and says they have HIV, you're not... I mean, I'm not just saying this from a healthcare worker perspective. I'm just saying this from a good person perspective. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. If they confide in you that they have HIV or AIDS or something like that, you should keep that to your damn self. But whoever this is, they're not a loyal, true friend, this dragonfly energy to this person. They're not. Um, they're a karmic to this person. This person was a karmic to this other third party about to contract HIV, and but not only are they a karmic to this third party, they ha they attract karmic friends because their karmic friend's about to betray them. This is their karmic friend in this aspect, this air sign's karmic friend. I heard that um, air sign thinks this person is going to be loyal and keep it closed, basically, but they're not. They most certainly are not. They uh, That's double confirmation. They most certainly are not. So, yeah. So, now, they, this person, this air sign really has a horrible person picker like for people in their lives and i hate to say that but it's the truth um y'all know i keep it real on here and i'm serious they do because they're about to get betrayed by this person it could be another air sign or somebody else but i heard they're most certainly or not i heard they're going to spread it around to everybody they know um and it's going to get around like wildfire and this other, this air sign, this Gemini Libra Aquarius that's about to find out they have HIV and is about to provide in this dragonfly energy, whether they're an air sign or not, um, they're taking on that air sign energy of dragonfly. 
spreading it around. But this air sign um, with the HIV over here, about to find out they have HIV, they're confiding in this dragonfly energy, whether this person is an air sign or not. But this person really is an air sign. I heard they were. But this person is taking on the air sign energy, whether they're air sign energy or not, uh, whether they're an air sign or have air sign in their placement chart or not, is what I'm saying. They're about to spread it around. They're about to spread it around like wildfire. I heard that this air sign is about to find out through series of chain events that this person has spread it around. So they have, they're about to confide in this person. These persons about to find out they have HIV. They're about to confide in this person that they have HIV. But this person's going to betray them and they're going to spread it around, right? Well, this person's going to find out that this person betrayed them because the per people they spread it, spread it around or was about to spread it around to, rather, this person's going to know by nonverbal cues. So when they interact with these people, when they come around and communicate with them or or around them in the 3D, I heard through nonverbal cues. So it's not even something they're going to say. It's what they don't say. It's how they act around them, basically. Wow, man, this is strong as hell. You plug it in, how it resonates. So 35 or above air sign energy. It could be masculine or feminine air sign energy, I'm feeling. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy Jupiter charts. Yikes. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. This is terrible. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. I don't, I just want to say, I don't, it might be one or two of my subscribers that this is happening to, but I feel for majority of you guys, it's somebody you're, you know that this is about to happen to. Um, if this resonates, okay, um, you plug it in how it resonates. I'll post that link in the description box below. It's That song might trigger a lot of you guys, especially if you're dainty, dainty little chickadoos. Um, the song's going to trigger you. This reading might trigger you. Um, but I like the song, but I like rock and heavy metal and hard shit. So, and I'm not a regular chickadee, so just saying. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.